Welcome to our Native Plants, Native People Kumeyaay Village site. This is dedicated to informing our visitors as well as people in our community, including young school children, about not only the amazing biodiversity of San Diego County's flora and wildlife, but also how they were relevant and useful to the indigenous peoples of this area. This is one of our features in this area is this makeshift Yua that I'm sitting in. And I will admit that we're not as good at building these as the Kumeyaay would be, but it's serviceable for now. And it gives me the opportunity to sit in a quiet space and talk to you a little bit about this sapling in my hand. This is a native walnut, native California walnut. And I know that everybody watching this is gonna be familiar with walnuts in some fashion, whether it be the food, the wood, because they make beautiful cabinetry and furniture, for instance. Walnut has also been used as an incredible natural dye because it has these deep brown tannins that will stain not only your fingers, but also cloth persistently. This one is similar to the oaks that I've talked about in the past in the way that walnuts, which are the seed of this species, Juglans californica, they cannot be put into a freezer for long-term conservation storage. And you have to grow them, just as we do with acorns, for instance. So this tree represents a partner conservation effort that we're part of that involves the U.S. Forest Service, the American Public Gardens Association, and partner botanical gardens throughout Southern California. So we're working to preserve this species, which is quite sparse throughout Southern California. There don't happen to be walnut woodlands in the same way that we see oak woodlands. And so these trees naturally were pretty lonesome. They're, they tend not to occur as a dominant species anywhere. And you'll find one here and one there. And they've been impacted heavily by things like development, fires, and all the other stressors that you see in Southern California's landscapes. So what we're working toward as part of a broader nationwide effort actually is to put this into our collections in a way where we're tracking the heritage of this plant and how it performs in different settings and ideally we will be able to continue to exist as a repository for this species for things like restoration projects for things like making more of these available for use in designed landscapes through the nursery trade and all of the wonderful aspects that come from a living plant being part of a botanical collection like ours. So there's a whole lot embodied in this little tree in my hand. Not only that kind of human history of eating these walnuts, using them for cloth dye, using the timber so importantly, but also represent recognizing that they're an important, if not sort of remnant or rare piece of our native ecology. And so this will go into our landscape when it gets a little bit bigger alongside some of our other native walnut, which we're growing for conservation efforts, such as the Arizona walnut. So we'll be able to showcase all these different amazing juggling species right here in San Diego County.